Welcome! In front of me is a Redmi Pad SE and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this tablet. So, jumping straight into it, we're going to open up settings and in here we're going to begin by navigating to display. And here we have a couple things like the dark mode, so you can toggle it on, off, no surprise there, but we do have additional options, schedule dark mode, which allows you to set it up so it will turn on the mode during, for instance, nighttime, and during the daytime it will switch back to light mode, giving you arguably best of both worlds. Now moving on to the next option, it's going to be the color scheme. Now if you find the colors to be a little bit too vibrant here, uh, you can make it to standard. Now this actually is a little bit too yellowish for my taste, uh, saturated. See. So saturated for some reason is less saturated than the vivid. So that's probably what I would be going with. A little bit more toned down colors make it, in my opinion, make the actual image quality look a little bit better. Now, uh, moving on, we have the refresh rate below here, and for some reason it's set to 60. Uh, obviously, this device supports 90, so that's what I'm gonna switch to. It will give you a smoother. I don't actually misclick a smoother navigation so everything all nice and smooth compared to the 60 which at this point actually on devices feels kind of choppy now continuing on down here we have a redirect uh, to control center and status bar and here's something that i like to change it might not be up to everybody's taste but something that I like as the hiding and notifications so it just completely removes them from the top uh, giving you a cleaner aesthetic to your device and also in terms of battery indicator you can change it to something else so you could have something like a line which on the camera it's barely visible uh, as you can see it kind of you can see it just a bit here so it is a bit more minimalistic I personally do like just a default one with the percentage there we go that's what I'm going to be selecting here. And moving on to another one, which will be the home screen section. We have the home screen uh, style, it just says home screen, but it's basically home screen style. And we have two different modes. I believe this device comes with classic enabled, so you don't have a drawer. I personally do like the drawer, so that's what I always select on every device. And it just gives you this, this kind of drawer when you pull up. Otherwise, you have all your applications in the middle of your home screen uh, spread throughout several different pages. And another thing that is going to be good for this device is a gesture navigation, which I actually have no idea where it's hidden here. Hopefully here. Oh no, never mind. I know where it is. It's going to be under the display again. I believe called full screen display or something along those lines. Or not. Let's search for it. There we go, so it shows up here, use buttons or gestures. And where is it? No? Oh my god, it was the first one. Uh, stupid me. Anyway. Oh wait, this is for floating windows. Where is the actual gesture navigation? There we go. Okay, so once we actually find this setting, which is in, I still have no idea, system navigation, um, you can see we have gestures and buttons. Now when you enable gestures, it has this bar at the bottom. You basically swipe up on it to go home. You swipe from the side to go back. And we also have a dock that you can pull up now from swiping as you can see on these gray areas. So from here we can access this and for instance open it up like so or we should be able to open it up in pop-up view somehow. So we do have a couple options when you hold it right here. So floating window and that looks like the only one. Let's see if we drag it out. Will this one split screen? What just happened? Oh, there we go. So it doesn't split screen, but it does uh, open up and pop up view, unlike the camera, which went 
full screen right away, which I believe this camera isn't supported in the pop-up view. Anyway, so with this being said, uh, this will conclude the tweaks and tricks that I want to show you. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.